I, I don't know. Every time I see this packaging, it just makes me happy. Like, look at that. How luxe and beautiful is that? Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Classic Confections. I'm your host, Kendra, and today I'm sharing all of my favorite luxury beauty products with you all. So because this is the season of giving, and I know a lot of us, myself included, are probably scrambling for last minute holiday gift ideas, I thought now would be the perfect time to share the little luxuries that just make my day that much brighter. So without further ado, let's get into it. Kicking this video off with luxury scents around the home. So of course a candle is the perfect way to add a touch of luxe and glamour to your everyday life. And my favorite candle and probably a lot of you all's favorite as well is the brand Diptyque. Diptyque candles are so fabulous. I particularly like the Bea's scent. I walked into Club Monaco one day like a couple years ago and I was like, oh my gosh, it smells amazing in here. And they had this scented candle burning and I immediately went out and that was my the beginning of my love affair with Diptyque. So yes, the Bea's scent is my favorite. And Eric, my husband and I, we don't always agree on scents, but this is one that we both like. It's not too sweet and girly for him. Um, and so this is also one that I like to have burning whenever guests come over. And they're always like, oh my gosh, your home smells amazing. You know, back when we could have visitors. <laughs> this is also the one that I like to give as gifts to people, like a hostess gift. And of course, if you're going to have a luxury scent, you have to have all the trimmings. So... I like to have this candle wick trimmer. You're supposed to trim your candles each time you use them down to about a quarter of an inch and that prevents too much smoke from coming out from your candle. So I got this gold, matte gold wick trimmer and it comes in a two piece set. There's also a snuffer as well, but like it's somewhere around. <laughs> but this is from CB2 and I will link this down below. And yeah, there's nothing more luxurious than just having like your little wick trimmer and then when you're ready to put your candle out, just take your little snuffer. I just feel like that's such just like a bougie way to enjoy your bougies. That's French for candle. <laughs> So next up, I want to dive right into my favorite luxury skincare products. So I'm not much of a makeup girl, but I do have some luxury makeup goodies I want to share. But first, I want to talk about skincare because that is definitely an area where your girl likes to pamper, loves to pamper herself. So one of my favorite products is this Ariana Skin Renewal Facial Pill. I did a video a few years back where I kind of went more in depth about how I incorporate this into my nighttime skincare routine. But this is a great way to just kind of renew your skin, get rid of that top layer and just reveal the fresh skin underneath. And if you're into exfoliating, another product that I highly recommend, and I don't even know if this falls into the luxury category. I remember this not being cheap. <laughs> So I thought I would throw it in there, but this is a new one I've been using, but it's called Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. Oh my goodness, this one does a great job of exfoliating your skin. It's also a hydrating mask. Um, word to the wise, if you use this one, don't use it on a day that you need to like look your best, because I personally find it kind of like dries the top layer of my skin and it kind of flakes away nothing nothing horrific but <laughs> i do notice that i have to kind of manually exfoliate after using this one but once you do like a day or two after you use this oh my goodness your skin will look and feel amazing another skincare product and probably my favorite out of the bunch i've talked about this one in my um skincare video i did maybe a few months back but it is the biosance squalane and lactic acid resurfacing night cream this is hands down my favorite product if you get nothing else out of everything that i'm recommending in the skincare department um definitely go with this one especially if you're in your 30s and looking to kind of like you know elevate um your skincare routine this one makes my skin so flawless and like almost poreless like i don't have large pores but i definitely notice a difference when i use this one 
Next, if you are trying to incorporate vitamin C into your skincare regimen, just to kind of like brighten your skin, uh, another Biosance product I recommend is the Squalane Vitamin C and Rose Oil. So this one, I tend to have oily skin, so I can't really use this in the summer, but in the winter, my skin gets dry, especially around my nasal area and on my cheeks. Like I even get a little bit of rosacea. So I find that this Rose Oil Serum works wonders and then if you also are looking for vitamin c i highly recommend ole henriksen's truth serum this is the collagen boosting true c complex and i use this one year round i've been using it for several months now and i really really like it this is my second bottle that i've gone through since the summer and highly highly recommend this one Moving along with skincare, we've taken care of that face and made it luxurious with all of our products, but we have to think about how we're applying them. So the next purchase, if you've watched my affordable luxury goodies, you've already seen this, and this is probably the bougiest thing I've ever purchased. Uh, <laughs> it's the Chanel cotton face pads. I love these so much and I know at the time I was thinking like can they really be all that great they are I'm like hooked this is the second box that I purchased and I don't think I will ever go without these if I can help it so there's just something about starting your morning or ending your day with just like uh, you know little Chanel logo <laughs> these feel so luxurious when you're applying your skincare products I think this will be a perfect gift because it comes in like beautiful Chanel packaging and you get little free samples with it so uh, it has a little CC logo and then just look how thick these are and they're so soft and they feel so good on your skin it's just nice especially me like being a busy mom to a toddler any few seconds that I have to like luxuriate <laughs> and pamper myself I am taking them so yes highly highly recommend this and then next also a little thing from Chanel I recently purchased is this beauty compact so my other one my beloved compact from Henri Bendel rest in peace um, cracked recently and so I treated myself to this uh, black lacquer Chanel compact and so it has two mirrors, the magnifying mirror and the regular mirror. And I just feel so fancy <laughs> when I pull this out to put on my makeup. All right, moving along with skincare. So these days, especially as we are washing our hands more often and applying copious amounts of hand sanitizer, I don't know about you all, but like I've gotten some Freddy Krueger looking nails. <laughs> like my cuticles and my hands just get so dry if I don't pay attention. So a product that I've mentioned before and that I still continue to love is the L'Occitane three-piece uh, at-home manicure set. So it comes with uh, the one minute scrub to exfoliate. And then you have your 20% shea butter dry skin hand cream, which is amazing. I also like to keep a two of this in my pocketbook. And lastly, we have the nourishing nail and cuticle oil. So I like to do this hand treatment at least two or three times per week, usually before I go to bed. And it really helps to combat the dryness from all of that alcohol and the hand sanitizers and all that extra hand scrubbing that we're doing these days. All right, peeps, so I think that is it with skincare. So moving along, I wanna talk about hair products. So I don't use a lot of luxury products in my hair. I am a natural, so I try to use like all natural products when I can. But a luxe product that I do like to treat myself with is Aveda Sap Moss Shampoo and Conditioner. You can tell I like it because it's almost empty. <laughs> so I definitely need to restock on these soon. But I love the shampoo and conditioner combo. It's great at making my hair feel clean, but not like it's stripped. And it's great at giving it more moisture because my hair soaks up oil and products and whatnot. So I really like these a lot. Like I can tell that my hair feels soft and cleansed after I use it and it just has like a nice like fresh clean scent so yes highly highly recommend that now we're moving along from skincare into more of the fragrance category so truth be told 
ever since I had Christian, I kind of stopped wearing perfumes and whatnot. Because, you know, nursing a baby, holding a baby, I just stopped wearing any kind of perfume or whatnot. And then after he got older, he's two and a half now, I just stopped. I don't know. I just never got back into wearing fragrances. But I'm jumping back into it now because, like I said, these days especially, your girl has to take every opportunity to luxuriate. So... <laughs> The first product that I really love is Jo Malone's Dry Body Oil, and this is the Velvet Rose and Oud Scent. I love this, and a little bit goes a long way. I've had this bottle for like maybe a year and a half, and it's about maybe, I don't know, like a fifth left. <laughs> so I probably need to restock soon, but a little bit goes a long way. So this, I like to put it on after I step out of the shower, and I usually just apply it to like my decolletage and my arms. And I love when I like slide into bed and underneath the covers, and the scent just like envelops me and I'm very sensitive to scents like some perfumes and fragrances give me a headache this does not and it really relaxes and calms me and helps me go to sleep and this is another one that Eric is a big fan of too <laughs> so moving along with perfumes and fragrances I talked about this before but hands down my two favorite perfumes are both from Hermes and I got this scent sampler set and that's how I discovered them but the first one, and this is probably like my all-time favorite fragrance at the moment, and that is the Vetiver Tonka. <sighs> I just have to open this up right now. <sighs> that fragrance, it's just something about it. I love the Vetiver. Uh, another perfume, I haven't purchased it yet, but I tried it in the store. It's um, Byredo Ball d'Afrique. It has the same, like a similar Vetti Vare top note, but this one with the Tonka, which is tobacco, this something, it just adds a little extra something and I love it. Every time I wear it, I get so many compliments and people asking me like, hmm, what is that? And my second favorite fragrance by Hermes is the Ombre Narguile, which is French for amber and leather. And this one is it's divine, especially this time of year. I especially like to wear it in the fall and winter. Oh, it just has like, it's just sweet and like engulfing and it lasts a super long time. And I like the way this one wears. Like when you first put it on, um, it kind of changes as the hours wear, wear on, but you can still smell it. And this is another one where people just lean in and they're like, ooh, you smell so good. It kind of reminds me of like apple pie but a sophisticated apple pie, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like not like a, a Bath and Body Works kind of fragrance, but very, um, I don't know, it's just a pleasant fall and winter scent that I really, really enjoy. And then for luxury fragrances, I have to give two honorable mentions. These are both fragrances that I've worn for years, probably close to 10 years, if not longer. And the first one is Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. This is my summer, spring, like, perennial favorite. I don't know. It's just something about... This one kind of reminds me of, um, maybe, like, tart apples is kind of what I... And, like, the beach and just... I don't know. Just summer. <laughs> the reason why I gave this an honorable mention is just because it's so ubiquitous. Like, every time I wear this, people are like, ooh, is that Dolce & Gabbana light blue? And... As opposed to the Aramis fragrances where people are like, oh, you smell amazing. What is that? I don't know. I like to have an air of mystery. And so the fact that this fragrance is so recognizable is one of the reasons why I don't wear it quite as often as I used to. But I do still enjoy it. And I, this is probably like my fifth or sixth bottle that I've had over the years. And then... Next honorable mention goes to Bulgari Jasmine Noir. This is a scent that I wear usually when I go out. So like for New Year's, I think I usually wear this one if I go on like a date night. It's almost like a masculine scent. It's very, I don't know how to describe it. Mean, it's jasmine scented and it's just like a dark um, kind of heavy scent. So a little bit goes a long way. This is the one where like I will spray and then kind of like walk into it. <laughs> But yeah, I love this one and I think that the bottle is so sexy. So yes, another favorite. 
And also, too, an honorable mention that I don't have with me is another Bulgari fragrance, and that's the Green Tea. I love that one, too. And that's like a light scent that you could probably wear that one year-round, but I do tend to wear it in the spring and the summertime. So, moving right along from fragrances, now we're going to get into my favorite luxury beauty products. So, I'm not that big of a makeup girl, but... That being said, when I do buy makeup, which is not that frequently, um, I do tend to splurge because why not? <laughs> so my first splurge is this YSL lipstick. So I am wearing the color red right now. Red is my signature color. And truth be told, my favorite red lipstick of all time is not a luxury brand. It's Lime Crimes Red Velvet. I did a whole video on like red lipsticks. So that one has to get an honorable mention. Not a luxury, very affordable. You can get it on Amazon. I think you can even buy it at Urban Outfitters. But in the luxury category, this red by YSL is a favorite. So I love the packaging. This gold is so gorgeous. And then... I also like that the lipstick has like little lips imprinted all around it, which I think is a very cute touch. So moving right along with luxury lipsticks, another favorite is Givenchy. I'm a sucker for nice packaging and this lipstick case is leather and it has the Givenchy logo right there. And then as you lift it up, it also has the Givenchy logo imprinted onto the side of the lipstick. And this is like almost the perfect shade of like fuchsia pink for my skin tone but I have to give it up for my favorite pink lipstick and probably one of my most luxurious beauty products Christian Louboutin I I don't know every time I see this packaging it just makes me happy like look at that how luxe and beautiful is that so let me just take it out. And I almost forgot that I had this. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, this has like some nice weight to it. And you open the top and lift it up. And there you go. The perfect shade of pink lipstick. I love this so much. This is how you know your lipstick is luxurious. When it has its own dust bag. <laughs> So yes, it has its own little pouch so that it stays protected when you drop it into your handbag. And it even comes with this like silk lanyard that I guess as the after the tube is empty, if you want to keep it and just like wear it as a necklace or something, I don't know. Um, it comes with that too. But oh, I just love the packaging, like this red velvet. When you take it out, you just can't help but feel fancy. <laughs> All right, peeps, and another luxury favorite also from Christian Louboutin is this nail polish. So to me, Christian Louboutin has some of the best packaging when it comes to like luxury beauty products that I've ever seen. So yes, this signature red nail polish is perfection. I definitely feel fancy whenever I use this one. This one I reserve for special occasions. Usually I get a manicure on my birthday and I will bring this with me to the salon. So it's been ages. Um, ever since the lockdown, I have not gotten a manicure or a pedicure. So I'm way overdue. But when I do go, when your girl goes, <laughs> best believe I will be bringing this polish with me. Uh, I love it. So at first I was concerned that this... Um, handle would be kind of awkward but it actually makes polishing your nails easier like it's perfectly balanced and that red color it's the signature red just like the bottom of the shoes and I just love it so much I don't know I just feel super pampered and luxurious every time I use this polish so yes highly highly recommend i think i'm actually going to get some more colors of this one because i like it that much and i also want to try out the red chanel lipstick i think they have a signature packaging this year that looks absolutely gorgeous and so i'm just envisioning myself when the world opens back up <laughs> whipping out my chanel compact taking my little lipstick having my signature red nail polish it's going to be a vibe it's going to be a vibe <laughs> All right, and my last two luxury beauty favorites are both mascara. 
So first one, uh, shout out to this mascara that I have been wearing for years, but it is the Dior Show Blackout Mascara. I love this mascara. I'm wearing it today. I also have some fiber lashes on, but I have this Dior Blackout Mascara, and I've probably been using this for seven, eight, nine, maybe even 10 years. And recently, like in the last year or two, I was convinced to kind of uh, branch out. And so my second favorite <laughs> mascara is the Guerlain mascara. So an enterprising sales associate at Sephora convinced me to step outside of my comfort zone and try this mascara. And I was very, very pleased. So very great wearing, but I'm just always loyal to the Dior show. But this is also a great um, option as well. So of course, as always, I will link everything in the description box below. And I think that is about it. So if you guys have some luxury favorites that I did not mention, please let me know down in the comments because your girl is always, always open to ways to pamper herself, especially now. Like we all deserve to luxuriate whenever we can. So thank you so much for watching this video and tuning in and listening to me talk about beauty and skincare. <laughs> if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications i put out videos like this weekly sometimes twice and as always until next time stay classy and stay fabulous